Mixing inks is not a difficult thing to do. All it takes is just a little bit of practice. In this demo, I'm going to use the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. We're going to create a color wheel with secondary and tertiary colors with it, and we're going to do some pull down swatches. Okay, so now it's time to do some color swatches here. So um, this is where we have to remember the intensity of the colors. So um, I already have my yellow out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this yellow and put it right here. I'm going to take a little bit of this yellow and put it right there. And then I'm going to just keep this all mixed up here. And then I'm going to do the same with the red. I'm going to put a little bit of red right here. And I'm going to put a little bit of this red right here. Just to make some, uh, a couple different pools of pure hue. So that if I have to start over, I know that I'm going to have um, some extra color to go back to that already has the extender mixed into it. Put that right there. So these colors, then these are, the idea is that this is going to become the orange, this is going to become the green, this is going to become, and then the mix here is going to be that violet. Now, remember, Yellow is the least intense of, e of all of these colors here. So I'm going to take just a tiny bit of red and put it into the yellow to make an orange. I'm going to take a tiny bit of the blue to mix into the um, yellow to get um, my green. All right, and when I mean a tiny bit, this is what I mean right here. Just this tiny little bit to start off with. You can always add color in. but it's incredibly difficult to mix it back out into a lighter tint. Okay, I kind of like this one because it is a nice yellow orange. So I'm gonna leave that one right there. I'm gonna take this yellow again. This is why I have a couple extra pools and I'm going to put this one right here. I'm going to mix a little more red into that. This, and this is why I have all of these little palette knives. I'm going to try and make this one an orange. Okay, there we go, that's a nice orange. I'm gonna take a little bit of that orange that I have there and I'm going to put it right here next to the red. I'm gonna mix just a little bit more red into there to make that a red orange. There we go. There. Now you can see I have a yellow, a yellow, orange, an orange, and a red orange. Now let's rotate this so we can do the same thing with the blues. I'm 
Okay. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to do my drawdowns, and we're going to create a, a spectrum. We'll start with um, we'll start with yellow, and we'll just do a couple drawdowns. Alright, so mixing colors is not a hard thing to do. It just takes a little practice and I mean you can just imagine now that after you've had this experience of mixing all of these colors together and you add into your knowledge of how to tint and shade these things that you're going to be able to find the exact color you're looking for. <laughs> 